In this podcast, I show you how to shoot and retouch this photo that was taken right into the sun. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this podcast, episode number 36. My name is Serge Amélie. I'm a French photographer living in Paris. Viva la France! But I speak English. All right. Last week, I showed you how to do black and white, a secret on black and white photography, to be more precise. Check out last week's episode. This week, I'm going to show you how I shot and retouch this photo. This photo was one of my most famous landscape. I did not shoot this in the Wild West. I shot this close to Paris as I was walking with my kids and the sun was coming right behind the horse and I shot this. And in the video, in the tutorial, I will show you what settings I use to shoot this type of photo when you have, you know, when you are straight into the sun and how to retouch it. So let's not wait. Let's go right now. All right, mesdames et messieurs. So let's do this retouching and let me just give you a few informations about how this photo was taken. Uh, to start with, this, um, I took this bracketing. Why did I do that? Because when you shoot straight into the sun, the camera has a hard time figuring out what's the right exposure. So what I usually do is I do some bracketing, not to the idea that will do HDR, but to the idea that I will get uh, the right exposure for that photo. You see, so uh, this was shot at 125th of a second at 7.1. That's the normal exposure and that's what I end up using. But then I also took, I was bracketing, I also took this underexposed photo at 1 500th of a second, so much faster, much faster. So, you know, as the shutter speed is faster, there's less light coming in, so there is, the photo is darker. And then automatically, uh, it took another photo at 1 30th of a second, so much slower, and it was so slow that you can see that the horse is totally, um, is completely blur. So the only one that was usable was this one. So what I, I suggest that you do is uh, either you go manual and you try to get a, the idea is that when you look at the photo on the back of your camera, uh, the, you should still be able to see some details in the sun. Like it should not just be like a white circle like it is here, you know? And of course your foreground is gonna be very dark, but you can still see a bit of details and you know that if you shoot raw, that's important, you must shoot raw for this, you will be able to get some details. So basically you shoot underexposed and a, a little advice I can give you, if you're not sure, you just go AV or manual mode and then you do some bracketing. You, you do uh, normal shoot uh, minus one plus one, not minus two plus two, so that you have you know uh, uh, exposures which are just very close to each other and one of the three photo will be perfect to retouch. For me, this is the perfect one. Why? As I said, you know, it's not totally burned with the sun and uh, the horse still has some details. Okay, so uh, yeah, once we've done that, let's retouch the photo. So look at the magic of raw file. If I open up the shadows, check this out. I can see details in the horse that I couldn't see before. And if I bring down the highlights, now I can see a lot of details in the sky. Then let's do the usual stuff. Let's press the option key, my usual formula, if you know this. Uh, let's click on the white and look at this. It's not burned out. You see, it's all black, meaning that the raw file has got hidden information. If I go to the right, I'm starting to see the sun. Okay, when I'm starting to see the sun, I drop it. Okay, then I do the blacks and I do the same thing. And now I've got a contrast, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's 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 a lot better, but it's not the right color because I was riding to the sun and I was on automatic white balance. And when you're on automatic white balance into the sun, usually it's too green, it's too blue, which is the case here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cloudy, to shade, I'm sorry. Shade is already much better because shade, uh, when you do, when you have photos where the sun is in the photo, try to go with shade. It's a good starting point. But for this, I want to make like a gone with the wind type of photo, you know, very like Steven Spielberg, um, uh, war horse type of photo, you know, with this really dramatic sky. So for this, I'm just going to go right uh, on the temperature uh, with the, you know, with the yellow and add a bit of 
of magenta, something like that. I'm gonna go really yellow. I think it's the proper color. It's the good look for that photo. Okay, and next what I'm gonna do is add, uh, I'm not gonna add clarity because it doesn't work on that photo. So I'm just gonna leave clarity alone. I'm gonna add maybe a bit of contrast and a bit of vibrance. Okay, not much. And um, voila, then I'm gonna go into uh, the lens correction. I'm gonna unabout profile correction as I usually do doesn't do much on this one. Then I'm going to go, to go to colors and remove chromatic aberration. We can see if there is any chromatic aberration. No, not that much. It's good for a photo that was taken into the sun, but I still, you know, make sure that's on. And, um, and then one thing which is important, if you go onto the horse, because it's an over underexposed photo, you can see it's got some noise. So let's go into noise reduction and, uh, Let's go to, um, yeah, around, I'm going to go big on this one. I'm going to go like 40. I want to make sure there is like hard, in, you see, no more noise. Ooh, I love the noise reduction. And on colors, I'm going to go like 79. That's very important. Okay, now I don't have any noise in that photo. And, uh, and I like the way it looks. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it even more warmer. So I'm going to go into the U saturation and luminance. And I'm just going to, you see the first three colors, red, orange, and yellow as the warm colors. I'm going to put a bit more red, a bit more orange, and a bit more yellow in this, uh, on the saturation. And I'm going to go on the U. And on the U, I'm going to take anything which is a bit green and go towards the yellow. And anything which is orange, go a bit towards the, no, not the red. And this one I'm not going to touch. And maybe a bit this one, yeah. It's mainly the third line, the yellows. You see anything which is like yellow greenish, more towards the yellow. Okay, I like that. Um, maybe add a bit more contrast. I really want the photo to be dramatic. I love this dramatic effect. Okay, and um, now that we've taken care of the noise, let's take care of the sharpening. And as usual, press the Option key when you do the sharpening because you want to make sure... Uh, oops, sorry. It's not... Press the Option key when you use a masking. On the sharpening, let's go the whole way to 77. Now, usually when you follow my tutorials, I go to about 90 on the sharpening. And this time I'm gonna go to 77 because it's a pretty noisy photo, okay? But I'm still gonna do the masking. So press the Option key and go on the right. As usual, it, it creates a mask. More I go on the right, which I'm gonna do a lot on this one. Uh, anything which is black is not gonna get sharpened. So I don't want the sky to be sharpened. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and one thing that's very important on this photo is to, um, is to crop it, uh, to make it more panorama, more cinema looking. So I'm gonna take the crop tool, I'm gonna take the, the angle tool to get, make sure the horizontal line is cool, so I'm just gonna follow the horizontal line, it's gonna make the photo straight. And then before I hit Hunter, I wanna take out some of the bottom and some of the top, just make, make it more panoramic. I think it works better. It's more like movie style, you know, because we want to go like Gone with the Wind. Okay, and uh, so that's pretty cool. And then I'm going to do some heavy post crop vignetting. Okay, yeah, I want this the photo to be like a bit dark. All right. Next, but least, uh, last but not least, actually no, I'm going to go a bit less on on the on the high on the post crop vignetting. But I, I think that the, the grass in front is not so nice. So I'm going to take a brush here. Uh, when you open the brush tool, you got all the settings of the brush tool. Make sure everything is at zero. For this, you press the Option key. The Reset button happens, uh, appears. You click on it. Everything goes down to zero. And then you go Minus Exposure. And I'm just going to, just to get some attention out of the grass, I'm going to darken the front here. I want the attention to be on, on the on the horse, on this beautiful horse. Now it's not going very fast because my flow is at 64 and my density is at 68. I should have checked that. So I'm going to put this back to 100 and try again. And now it's going to get darker, which is cool. And I'm also going to create a new brush. And this time I'm going to darken the top of the sky. Yeah, just a little top of the sky. I want to make this even more dramatic sky. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, now we've got some here. If, if we zoom here at 100%, we can see there's some flare here. And these ones are very distracting. So I'm going to use this tool. Uh, 
and you know no you know what i'm gonna go well i'll show you two things let's say you don't have photoshop if you don't have photoshop you can just use the spot healing tool here and just click on this make sure it's sample something clean okay that's perfect and click on that make sure it takes something clean and voila we have almost nothing but you see here this i have a bit of a of a lens flare here it's a bit too bright here so let's create a new brush let's see if we can do it in lightroom a new brush okay and this time i'm gonna darken here yes but it's too strong and it's too big so i'm gonna you see i can darken more or darken less so i'm gonna dark, darken less and less and i just want to darken the center so i'm gonna make my brush smaller with the with my wheel and i want to brush inside here and i want to make this a bit darker not too much i just want to take out the lens flare okay and this is too strong now so if it's too strong outside you can press minus and just erase anything on the brush you don't want and i didn't do such a good job it didn't do such a good job okay it's hard to do uh, yeah I'm going to do this in Photoshop because it's it's kind of hard to do in in Lightroom. But anyway, it's already a, a pretty nice photo in Lightroom. So I'll show you the before and after. That's the before, that's the after. Pretty amazing, eh? quite a difference. And if you want to take out the lens flare, well, then just right click. Right click and go into edit into Photoshop CS6. Okay, Photoshop CS6 opens up. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to duplicate the layer. Then I'm going to detect the stem tool, which is here. And I'm going to put, let's go normal mode, but let's lower the opacity to 50%. That's important. Okay, let's try that. And I'm just going to sample from here and just, you know, with a clone stem tool, the idea is to take out, I don't like this lens flare. It looks kind of weird, you know. So I just want to make it a bit, a bit less visible. So I'm going to, here, I'm going to take some sample here and go here. And as I have a 50% stem tool, it doesn't exactly do it 100%. I'm going to sample from here, for example, and go here just to take out some of the lens flare here, here also. Maybe make, sm make this a bit smaller. You know, the idea is that we take this flare a bit off, you know, it's just a bit too strong before after you know it makes it's a bit more complex it's very subtle i can even lower the opacity if you think it's a bit too strong but I, yeah i kind of like it you know it just took out a bit the the attention of the lens flare and you know and you can do some other technique like dodge and burning and things like this but the whole idea is that i want to encourage you to take photos into the sun you know i think it works very well so that's the photo backs from photoshop and i think you know what i think i'm gonna i'm gonna add even some you can continue to retouch it even it comes back from photoshop and just go even more crazy uh, on the white balance even more yellow and add even more vibrance to it uh, you know to make it really crazy i really love very saturated photo and it doesn't work on all photos but on this one i think it works so just to show you where we started from uh, this is the before and after let me show you the before and after that's the before that's the after quite a change and that's the final result that we got here uh, with this photo that's the before lightroom that's the after in photoshop so that's the final result so uh yeah that's it and uh hope you like taking photos into the sun it makes like this very dramatic scene and um, voila now before we finish i just want to show you yeah i just want to show you something new on my website if you go on photosearch.com uh, this is my website you click on the app store you get all my training the thing that's new is now you see there is two buttons the first one is streaming and the other one is download on the streaming you basically can view the training right away and you still get a link to download the raw files to follow along and the download training you have to download first all the videos and all the raw files before you can start watching so that's the only difference it's the exact same price all the training is uh, like this so if you're a bit impatient and want to start right away and don't want to wait for all the downloads you can just click on play training it's um voila it's a little difference and uh, as usual the package is what sells the most 
you know, either all Lightroom 4 training, all Photoshop training, or all Photoshop and Lightroom 4 training. And uh, voila. So I hope you do buy some of this training. I'll, I'll go into more details than on the podcast. And it helps me support doing this for free for you weekly. Thank you very much. And let's get back to the studio. Okay, guys. So I hope you like that tutorial. I love taking photos in, straight into the sun and I highly recommend it for you. Okay, this week's inspiration is the folks over at photographytalks.com. It's a very, very good website. On this website, you've got great articles on basics of photography, how to photography things. You've got galleries, you know, where you can see the best photos. You know, you can upload your whole album. Uh, they've got a great community, a great forum. They review products and cameras, all this for free. And they have been promoting a lot my podcast. And so I want to promote them because I really think it's a great community website if you want to learn about photography. So check them out, photographytalk.com. If you like this podcast, please like it or comment it. It helps promote the video on YouTube. It's just one little click for you, like a like or a comment, and it helps to promote it to many other photographers. So I really thank you in advance for that. Thank you very much for being there, guys, and I'll see you next week. Wow.